Pro Tools can now directly export channel-based re-renders from sessions being mixed in Dolby Atmos. From Bounce Mix, choose Wave Dolby Atmos. This will be available in versions of Pro Tools which support Atmos and with I.O. configured with beds and object assignments. You can choose to export ADM, re-renders or both using the Create Master File and Create Re-Renders checkboxes. In the Re-Renders section, click on Configure to create the re-render type you would like to have available to export. Input a name and click on the plus button. This will populate an entry to customize. Choose between Binaural, 2.0, 5.1, 7.1 for each re-render. The options under Include allow you to make re-renders of the entire mix or by clicking Custom, use Bed and Object Type as well as Group to filter specific submixes or stems from your session. One benefit of the Pro Tools re-render function is that it will recognize Dolby Atmos group assignments for beds, enabling you to separate these groups even if the destination is to one bed within the ADM file. This ability to utilize a composite bed is covered in more detail in the product documentation. Configurations can be saved as presets as well as imported and exported. You can choose either multiple mono or interleave files depending on the format required. Multiple mono will automatically create subfolders for each re-render. After the configurations are complete, you can add them to the current bounce queue by clicking the plus button or minus to remove any unwanted re-renders. Next is an option to import re-renders into the session after bounce, which can be helpful to confirm that the desired combination of audio has been assigned correctly. The last option in this section is to apply program level metadata from either the connected renderer, the most recently imported ADM file, or default settings. This will apply elements such as trim and down mix controls to the re-renders, as well as passing that information to the ADM file if being exported.